All right, just further recording. Yeah, you can barely see, even with the camera phone, down this hallway. It's It looks like a big building from the outside. Strings hanging, mirror there. I don't think I can see outside the window. It's hard to get over to. Curtain's still up. Hmm. If there's one that's easier to get to, maybe. You have to have to move. Oh, cars, dang it. All right, oh, lights, regular light switches. All right, it's about time I get out. I got a really weak flashlight and it seems to be weakening. If I don't have a good flashlight, I could trip and fall. All right. <laughs> it's got a, a musty smell like they've sealed in the air really good. And if this got abandoned in 93, then there's likely um, bad insulation in here. It seems like my light is weak. All right, how did I get here? Stairs can't be that hard to find. Exit. Oh, that's right. Nope. I'm lost. This light is weak, too. Maybe this is the exit. Stairs. Yep, okay, that's familiar. Going straight to the bottom. I didn't need to look at a whole lot. I think this is... Where I entered. <clears throat> and I got it propped here, so not even locked. Yeah, the the some of the windows, so those are those are screens just dangling there. Old screens. Some of the windows are broken, so a little airflow is getting through. Not on the upper floor, so where I was all the air was stagnant. Yeah, this, this is a dorm, and they didn't uh, close off any of the doors here. Just like that guy showed in the hospital. It's just, this door just rusted and fell. I can already smell, just standing outside of the, the doorway, I can already smell it. I'm not going to turn my flashlight on, so... <laughs> oh, my smelled enough stairs huh <clears throat> no no hornets propane tank <clears throat> yeah that's that air makes it unlivable another door that's rusted most likely yeah these are dorms <clears throat> and they have several of these to hold thousands. I think they said there are 5,000 soldiers that were staying here at a time. Half the, or uh, a good portion of the city. But uh, yeah, over time, the door just rusts. This is just paper, cardboard, <clears throat> and the uh, trees take advantage of the cracks. First the grass, then the trees. You see just a line of trees here, lined up like soldiers in the crack. The crack has, crack has disciplined their growth pattern over time. Property of US government, it's just laying on the ground. I'm not going to try to break it, just read it. Just a piece of plastic with cushion inside. All right. Well, this door didn't rust off like the others. So it shows a little clue about the uh, weather pattern, I think. 
So those rust and this one stayed on too. Those uh, doors over there were very vulnerable to water damage more so than these side doors. Yeah, more of the massive dorm here. And then the entrance is over here, those lights are. And they've got a rocket. There used to be in the dorm people who lived here parking here. Pull in, pull in here. If they lived in these dorms. There's other dorms too. But they would yeah, just pull in. They have to go through the gate, which there is why they took the gate down. I guess it's just falling apart. The rocket's not rocket looks in good shape. But by the picture I saw, the gate was right ahead of the rocket. And then... <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, they go through the, the gate. That's what I did as gate guard stuff, but... <laughs> they took the gate guard down. The gate down. <clears throat> Some of these built. This building looks very new. Academy? Oh, it's the kids' academy. That's right. This is Lincoln's Challenge Academy. This whole section here is to support that academy. And the kids seem very soldier-like. They must be sleeping in a dorm somewhere. None of these, though. Up ahead. All these are abandoned. Man, my breathing is not great now after being in that one dorm. It's probably um, breathing in some nasty air. I hope it's not going to be permanent. Scan QR code to pay truckparkingclub.com. Some kind of bandit sign knocked down on the military base. So where did the planes go? Because you could see model planes on Google Maps, and now they're no longer on display. They were grouped up also and taken somewhere else. With the timing of this closure in 93, and these are the dorms. I'm just, and this is a fitness center right across the street from the dorms. I'm just thinking that I got in a 95, so if, uh, I mean, the, the years, they w they didn't cross over or anything, so this base closed two years before I got into the Air Force. Just think, you know, if I was in a little bit earlier, five years earlier or so, I would have had this Air Force base as an option to uh, work at as a gate guard. <clears throat> so I had fewer choices. And it sounds like there was multiple bases closed down uh, in the early 90s as I was entering. But I'm, I'm not very aware of all the activity that happened though. I'm only aware of this now, now that I've visited. I think about how many of the uh, air bases I drove past as I was going to Barksdale from Rice Lake, Wisconsin. I could have stopped at them, but I was age 19 and clueless. I didn't know of their existence and I didn't know what to think of them. I went straight to Barksdale, but I could have stopped at this base on the way because this was almost like on the way, not too far off. And certainly at my my age now, I would have been very interested, but at 19, I wasn't so much. But it would have been really cool to be able to compare the difference between the base back when I was in the military heading to my first base in 2015 compared to now. I'm sure they went through a ton of changes. Those planes are gone, whatever those model planes were. And I probably wouldn't have needed a... Air Force clearance to get on if they've decommissioned the base but uh, if they if they did still have it running you know after they officially closed it maybe just for security reasons as they got things removed from the base you know I could have let my I could have just gotten right on and met a gate guard I'll never know now there's a lot of missed things though I can't be everywhere at any time so 
just all I could do is imagine what it'd be like now that I'm here. What it would have been like if I was if I did stop here in in 1995. Ran tool, Illinois. Ran tool, Illinois. So today I don't feel like having any meat. I don't feel like cooking either. I don't feel like making any preparations for food that take uh, much effort. I might give in. I do have eggs, the six last six eggs. I've been sitting in my car about three days now. I might cook cook those with some grains, but no meat. I just I I uh, I get to the point sometimes where I don't want to have any more meat for a, for a little bit until tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't like to separate myself too much from meat, but I, I can overdo meat and get a little, uh, annoyed by it. One thing I don't get annoyed by is grain, bread and, and the oats. I could go for some oats and yogurt, oats, grains every day. I don't get tired of them, especially the ones I don't have to cook. Like, well, like the bread I got, this this bread, I mean, this bread does have to get cooked, but in a factory somewhere, some mysterious factory. I'm taking on the attitude that whenever something itches on my skin, it can also be rubbed with vinegar for relief as well. If it itches, I want to put vinegar on it. All right, I'm still in Rantoul, north side. And it looks like they, uh, they used to have bathrooms here. Yeah, there's some pipes. They had buildings here at the baseball parks. At least this building. I see pipes that they filled in with cement. Those are filled in pipes. Yeah, that's a, that looks like a bathroom pipe. They want them wide for bathrooms. They took it out. They removed the bathroom. That's unfortunate. There's woods. I'm gonna get a closer look at those. If I want to hang out here today, I'm gonna to want to consider the woods now as my only option. There may not be too many uh, witnesses if I had to, an emergency. I hope. What was this for? This plot of cement. Something. Oh, they had some something here. Evidence of posts. They had a shelter here. This had, this was a shelter. They must have rotted down. And they didn't want to rebuild because the base left. So the two cement slabs remain for old bathrooms and old, old uh, probably a open air shelter that's mess, probably likely stood there. I mean, these... These little back structures to overlook the, the game still stand. They are probably built at the same time, but maybe not. It's hard to say. Oh, look at this. Probably don't work, but uh, two electrical outlets. Test those out. Don't look like they work, though. All right, it's time to get that library up on the big board. Let's see. We go where to categories everyday life down down libraries all right let's go back on this google maps maybe paxton 254s market 254s market paxton and i saw pictures of it on google maps and it looks pretty cool okay now we compare the directions oh now you suggest going this way okay compare the directions and you agree with that? I guess. He suggested a different way before. Going down Grove. I like I like the Maplewood Drive one. And we're connected. We're we're coordinated, so we'll go with that. Whoops. Alright, I'm parked in Paxton in front of the library here. <laughs> These are some tall steps. See, Rice Lake, Wisconsin, they uh, pulled down their library because of this. They said they didn't want to invest in any uh, uh, any um, handicap access. And these were the stairs, pretty much. Not all cities stink like Rice Lake, Wisconsin. 
Race like doesn't have this circle thing in here. Okay, this library actually has a password for the Wi-Fi. Great, I love that. Just gives me an opportunity to record the library, talking to the librarians. It forces me to have to talk to them, and I definitely want to record that. Begging for the li begging for the Wi-Fi. They always give it. They always give that Wi-Fi, but uh, I can record that interaction. Stairs to the top. That's cool. You know, for some reason, this Illinois town reminds me a little bit of Race Lake. Just, there's differences, though. They just have a similar structure. Where the, they just go through the Main Street area. Yeah, very similar. But they took a different direction. And this is in Illinois. Now it's Race Lake. But there's a... Uh, the same, uh, the same uh, mindset for building, for city uh, development here. It's kind of like looking at a Frank Lloyd Wright building and then seeing what his students also created themselves. You find similarities. Seems to be that way. It's with similarities in the city design. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's the same kind of brick, just storefront. It's always neat to see, because I walked up and down Rice Lake a lot, down on the main street. So, I just think about all the businesses I'd pass. I could practically name each and every one. And this has got that feel to it, it's a very similar feel. As you can see, the Paxton city, city of Paxton has its own Wi-Fi. Ain't that something? Not only does Paxton have its own Wi-Fi, but the, some kind of radio thing? Steel sounds? Sounds like they're auctioning things off. So that's pretty cool. The Wi-Fi might, or the uh, library might have a password on their Wi-Fi, but the Paxton City has no password. Uh, not sure if that Paxton City Wi-Fi reaches my car. There's this museum. I hear that radio again. Two diff three different spots now. Yeah, it sounds like the same voice coming from this little patio. Don't know the business. Yeah, I'm thinking the museum has something to do with this tower, possibly the clock tower. The time might be off. Church. Where did it say the museum was? I just saw a museum sign. Now I'm seem to be entering a church. Uh-oh, they got a burglar alarm. Looks like you can open up the door. Oh, here we go. This is museum information. As in Paxton. I don't see... I don't see the... Is it up here? I think it was up here. Way up there. That's why they got the letters so big. So this is either a church or a museum. A church turned into a museum. Clarence District 74. I think they're talking about this. Districts are usually associated with with uh, church uh, with uh, schools. All right, I strongly suspect there used to be a bridge here that went over the train tracks. This is a road that just seems like it was to extend because they both sides look like they're designed to extend into each other. And they dug a ditch for the tracks, put a bridge over it. That's my suspicion. It's the way that's set up here. 
All right, this museum I'm guessing is the water tower. This is an old water tower. And uh, let me just say that I appreciate that they took their newsletter and actually spread it out to read, be read on this board. That's kind of neat. It kind of makes me want to read it. I don't see the hours for this library or for this uh, museum though. So there used to be a theater here, and now it's a park. And this is the water tower. That's now a museum. First water tower museum I've ever seen. All right, so there used to be a bridge right here. It's a deep trench for railroad tracks. They still keep the uh, bridge in Paxton two bridges just a couple of one block down and then two more blocks down just two bridges they were connected by at least three bridges that i'm guessing for a period of time there they're split in half by the train and the train's in a about a 20 foot ditch going through the city so they could make those bridges over the the tracks that's quite a design see this sign recognizes that some vegetation came in and left all right but there's other people who have this belief that they need to work hard to preserve nature but nature is constantly changing every generation new plants come in old plants go out there's no preserving nature. There's no working hard to preserve nature. It goes through phases itself. All right, I hear the train, but uh, I wasn't fast enough to get ahead of it to see the... It's so quiet down here. They don't have to blare their horn. You can barely hear it because the, di the divots, the ditch, uh, protects the sound that's a pretty good design for blocking sound and then here you can see what they're carrying it is very active i think one of the signs i didn't notice before people are running into this thing yeah it's it's a unique setup I've never really seen in any other city. Or this uh, train runs right through the center, but it doesn't seem that bad because uh, it's in this divot. Cars? Looks like they got some automobiles in there. Hard to tell exactly empty oh you can see that they're empty because i can see the top really real easily yeah that's pretty neat just looking at it from the museum library's not far all right and from the train tracks i just kind of was walking i was like wondering if these buildings were connected or not and i looked down this building might be abandoned they don't even have oh they have an electric meter they're separate you can walk right in between them. That's kind of neat. It's a sidewalk. I think it's residents over here. I think people are living in this building. And then the museum entrance is on the north side. Yeah, you can't see in at all. Okay. Oh, it's part of the... They got a... Something for the tower there. I hope they show what the tower looks like. Not much in there. This would be the bottom of the tower. If they charge money though, there's no way I'm paying. Whoops, okay. Public works. This is a public works building. And there's no entrance here, most likely. Yep, they lock it from the side there. I wonder if I can see 
What could be seen in there? Uh. Okay. City Hall basement. Oh, it's right. This is right behind the museum's right behind the the city hall. All right, gonna check out the <clears throat> the Wi-Fi. The Paxton Wi-Fi. The Paxton Wi-Fi still works here. Over over here, I got three bars out of four. <clears throat> hey, I see there's a padlock. Hmm? Padlock, you know the lock um, to block to okay. lock the Wi-Fi. So the pass password. The password is Carnegie. All right. Just like in. The Let me write it down because I'm gonna put it on several okay. um, things. And I see uh, the Paxton City one still reaches here, but uh, they don't have a password. Mm -mm. That one's free for everybody. Oh, yeah, this one, well, the library's free too. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess the Paxton one doesn't have a password. You guess what? I guess the Paxton one just doesn't have a password. I really don't have much to complain about with the labor of cooking that I have to do. Wait, waiting 25 minutes. I should probably just turn that down. 25 minutes to cook this and then wait extra for it to cool down. I don't really have much to complain about with that part of the process of cooking. This is chicken. Because I, at least I don't have to... I don't have to hunt and kill these chicken. I don't have to cut them up. I don't have to de-feather them. Figure out where to throw their guts. Blood and bloody mess all over. That's not even the right. It's not even on time. It's like the bell. The bell uh, sounds off kind of early. So this uh, this part of the process I'm thankful for. I'm no longer interested in buying already cooked chicken at uh, stores. They don't they don't do it right. They choose the lowest grade chicken. You know, it's just for people who want a grabby, grabby, eaty, eaty something right away. And this this having the cook teaches me patience although I needed to have more patience in the early parts of me trying to figure out how to, how to cook in my car all right it's a cold day today I have my winter jacket on it's cold it's even a little chilly with that even with the Sun out I have the windows rolled up all the way just a small crack up here and it's steaming, it steamed quickly. It got to the steaming part really quick. I open up the door and I lose a lot of heat. So I wanna keep it closed as long as possible, conserve the heat, get the most out of the cooking, conserve on the, on the propane I'm using, cooking in the car. If I tried to cook this outside, it would not happen. It would not be cooked. And and so, you know, I'm making the process as easy as I can, and I can't complain. The lady just turned the close sign to open. It's noontime. The, the, uh, the museum's open at noon on Saturday. So one of the benefits of hanging out in a museum parking lot and cooking, just uh, relaxing, is you find out the time that the museum opens, because they didn't have anything posted. All right, I'm going to enter the dungeon.
Just looking around. Okay. Want to sign in? Maybe afterward. Okay. Let me turn those lights on. I got my lunch with you. IGA cookout. It's, it's 12 noon and there's a cookout today at the IGA. Yeah, right. Was it brats and... No, it's... Um, and uh, hash browns? Pork. Pork. Oh, pork of some kind. Uh -huh. Five dollars. Chips. Drink. Sandwich. You got it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like a healthy meal. Well, different organizations get the money, so it's great. Who are those people begging for money on the road? Uh, Save the Pools, uh, Swim Team, I think, and uh, they're just all. Team, yeah. And they're they're seeing who can. They're seeing who can make the most money. Is it a comp? Is it? No, it, they're gonna split it. They're going to spoil, oh, I see, okay. They usually get about $4,000 total when they split money. That's, yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. Are you from Jackson? No.